morning guys well i think it's the afternoon so good afternoon guys welcome back to the channel you know it's your girl jay and today i will be doing a couple of reactions my favorite thing to do I'll be reacting to is on the BET channel. I don't know did it come on TV or what, but it's on the BET YouTube page, and it is called. Let me see. Hold on. It's called Trina brings the Miami Heat with her Caribbean style spicy fish. Fish. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna be seeing Trina in the kitchen, kitchen, cooking, cooking. And we got our own food right here. I know it's the afternoon now. It's no, it's, it's no longer morning time, but I'm eating breakfast. Oh, Lord. I get in water on the computer. No. Yeah, so I'm, I'm still eating breakfast. I worked out this morning. That's why I'm having a late breakfast. But this how we're gonna do this so um i hope you guys have your own little food or snacks or drinks or whatever you're gonna be eating while you're tuned into this channel because like i said this is the first of um i might do three videos so this is the first of three videos so you're gonna be here for a little minute so and i got this a naked i don't think i'm gonna drink it though i don't want to mix it with the food I might just grab a water later, but oh lord, I done put my own hair inside the. All right, so we got our headphones. Let's get into it. No ad, no nothing. We going straight into it. Tree nine body in the kitchen. Okay, <laughs> I like spicy, so I made it a little bit spicy. Um, normally I would use. But it's good though. Hey, what's up, guys? This I is Trina. Welcome to like Cooks that. in Five. Today, I'm going to make for you a Caribbean style steamed snapper. Now, this is a Caribbean dish. Yeah, this is, I'm from Miami, and this is what we eat in Miami fish, Caribbean style. Um, that's what I think. Caribbean dish. I make it something that you can call it. That's what I It's created with different vegetables, so many vegetables, with it, which is super healthy. This is actually a dish that you can prepare in about five minutes. The preparation is about five minutes. It actually takes a little bit longer to make, but five minutes preparation, I guarantee you. Now, before I start actually preparing the fish, I brought my cousin Bobby to come help me over here. Hi. <laughs> Bobby himself actually doesn't eat fish at all. And this is the reason mm. I have him over here with me today to help me out because I like to annoy him uh. to make him be around the fish because I know he doesn't eat it. So we're gonna have fun. Okay. So right now Bobby's actually preparing and he's actually cutting up shallots. I love shallots actually, um, so flavorful. I remember when I was little, I used to not like onions, and I still don't. They have to be grilled. Like, they have to be cooked onions for me to eat them. Like, onions, onions, the hotter, the better. Or a salad Ooh, or something. It's so hot. It's so you can smell, smell it. Smell it's so hot. Also, I thought Ooh. peppers was nasty. But they this not. is actually right now soaking in mojo sauce and vinegar. Okay, so now that we have all the vegetables all cut up and That's ready salmon? to go to prep. I have the oven heated to 425. And while the oven is heating up, I'm gonna actually season and prepare the fish. I actually take my fish and put it into another bowl. So now the fish is now here. I sit it in, this is a little bit of wine sauce. That's just to give it like a flavor, marinate it, add it in there. Mm. Now I'm gonna add 
Mojo sauce. This is just a season of marinades to get the fish flavor. Can't hey, never go so wrong with the mojo. Sure it's nice and yummy. So here we go. We have garlic, parsley, adobo, white pepper, jalapeno, Creole seasoning, paprika, uh, paprika, all different kinds of blends of seasoning. So here we go. Mm. Okay. I like my fish tasty, so I like it Here. seasoned. I don't like it bland. I don't like it tasting like on, you bro. put hot sauce or anything on it. I like it to be perfect. <laughs> if you season like chicken breast like this, I would this up. <laughs> Okay, my favorite part is this ponzu here, this sauce. This is like a ponzu butter. And then, we're gonna put this in the oven and let this simmer and marinate for a second before adding the vegetables. Then I take the and prepare all the vegetables. Dusty. I'm gonna leave the lemons for last, I'm gonna leave the scotch bonnet for last. So now Dusty. I'm just gonna take and re-season this a little bit. Just for flavor. Instead of water, I decided to get some cranberry juice. I promise y'all, it's not water, it's cranberry juice. Cranberry pink. I'll post a picture in here so y'all can see it. It do look real watery though. Cranberry juice though. All right, let's get back to it. This is Caribbean style dish, so it's very flavorful. It's such a flavor for you. And with that, I'll just let that sit here. You let this sit right here. I actually could pull, pour a little bit of ponzu butter, which oh, I love. Said pole. So I'm gonna take the fish out. That's how we talk, pole. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm gonna place it here. So now what I'm gonna do is add all the vegetables. So we have here in the bowl. This is everything Bobby chopped up. Perfect. So now that all the vegetables are inside, and then again, I'm a lover of ponzu butter. We're good to go. Everything's inside, be careful it's hot. Cover it with foil. And the reason you're gonna make it covered with foil again is to absorb the flavor, the steam is gonna marinate all these vegetables into one, cook it down into one, and it's going to be an amazing, delicious, that's why my fish don't come out right season, because I don't well do that. Well seasoned, steamed snack. Okay. Now I'll take it from here. Let's put it back into the oven. So we're gonna put this back. It's really hot. Now the fish is completely done, so we're gonna take it out of the oven. Be careful because it's really hot. Okay. Woo. We're gonna turn the oven off. Off because it's super hot. Voila, look at that. Mm. That looks delicious. Do you want to taste? You know, you just taste the juice, taste the sauce, taste the fish. So, Bobby doesn't eat actually fish. You like the seafood, you like it. Okay. Delicious. Mm. Spicy though. I like the spicy. So, here, I like. Spice, right? Pepper's really, really good. Super spicy. Super spicy. Okay. <laughs> I like spicy, so I made it a little bit spicy. Some of the spices I added more because I like spicy. The scotch bonnet. Um, normally, I would use two for flavor for extra spice. Just try not to bite it, actually. It's two. good, though. Wow, good job. Okay, Miss Trina. <laughs> Cause whoever that is banging on my door gonna come right up in here. Who can it be knocking at my door? Don't worry about it. All right, let's get back into it. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you guys for watching my episode of Cooked in Five. 
Well, it actually wasn't five, but the preparation was five. It took a little bit longer to actually make the fish to make sure it's well done and prepared. Now, I want to see how you guys do with your fish, so send me pictures, hit me up at BET, and let me see the process and your journey of cooking and the outcome. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Trina. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay. So that was Trino. That was Trino. Cooking her fish. Um, I'm, the first comment I see is, I like seeing Trina like this, not arguing with young girls. She looked great, by the way. I totally agree. You know, with celebrities, we love to see things that they don't show us. So it was cool seeing this. But if you follow Trina, then sometimes on her Insta story, she be posting you know, like, what she's about to eat or something like that. So, that's definitely not nothing new to me. But she do look good. She do look good. Um, I tried to make fish before. Um, salmon. <laughs> Don't read the comments. I'm sorry. All right, all right, all right. So, I tried to cook fish before, salmon. And it was good, but I don't like the aftertaste of salmon. So, I guess I'll just stick to tilapia. But maybe I messed up the fish by not putting aluminum foil on it. That way, all of the seasoning can go inside of it and marinate. Because it's like it was seasoned, but I guess it wasn't seasoned. Because I still can taste the aftertaste. And... I just like fish where I don't taste none of that. Like at Denny's, they used to have a fish called haddock fish. They don't sell it anymore. I don't know why, but it was like a garlic haddock fish and it was so good. It was big too. But um, yeah, so this was a nice little video to see. Like I said, there's nothing new to me because I follow her, but this was nice to see. Very different. I wish they would have more celebrities that would do this. So, if I see any other videos like this that pop up on that page, I'll definitely watch it. And I'll make sure y'all guys watch it with me. So, with that being said, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications for whenever I drop a new video. And that's it for this reaction video. But stay tuned for the next one.